Okay, so So, pan tayo no? Moment distribution tayo. Moment distribution tapos sa uh, influence line. Influence lines tapos sa uh, kung ano lang abutin natin sa mga oras. Okay. Okay, so sa moment distribution, ito yung mga dapat natin na uh, tandaan lang. Ano? Yung uh, stiffness, yung beam stiffness, at saka kasi sa beam if stiffness, kinukompute yung one, yung uh, moment of inertia. But when the moment of inertia is, or when the section is constant, which is in actual yung isang uh, uh, continuous beam hindi naman nagbabago talaga yung yung size ng beam yung section pag hindi nagbabago constant yung moment of inertia niyan sa kwan sa entire na uh, continuous beam at saka yung modulus of elasticity constant din eh wala naman siguro uh, continuous beam na yung uh, first span is concrete yung succeeding na yung steel kung meron man uh, so uh, kwa na siguro uh, mga special na mga structure na pero kadalasan sa mga continuous beam isang walang talaga siya isang material when beams are not uniform solve natin yung i but when beams are uniform i is constant so yung i kasi magka-cancel out naman yung pare-parehas naman siya, LCM na lang ng spans gagamitin natin. Okay? So So ganito ano? So may L1 dito and then may L2 dito. Since pare-pareho siya, kukunin na lang natin ang LCM nito para pag-compute uh, ng K. Alam ba kung 4 ito at saka 6 ito, ang least common multiple niya is 12. Okay? LCM 12 tapos uh, ang pagcompute na ng K dito is just LCM over yung span. Okay? Mas, mas madali siya. Actually may ibang calculation nito pero pag mga continuous beam ganito na lang mas uh, pinasimple lang. Okay? Tapos kailangan natin ng mang uh, distribution factor. Yun yung uh, multi multiplier sa moment na kaya tawag sa kanya distribution factor. Ngayon, pagka sa fixed, gaya nito, fixed siya. Ang DF is zero. Pagka sa roller, is one. Dito sa gitna, ang DF din niya is one. And how you're going to solve it, kasi iba dito ang uh, distribution factor dito, at saka iba rin dito. Okay? So, kukunin natin yung K at this point. May KBA dito. Tapos, I divide to be divided by the summation of k. Kung alimbawa ito, dito sa b, uh, yung df dito is k dito na side nito, alimbawa, this side, kba over kba plus kbc. Ganun magiging kwan dito. Which is papakita ko na mamaya. Mga assumptions pa lang natin ipapakita ko dito. Ito sa first slide. Fixed in moments. Ano? Kailangan ng fixed in moments natin kasi sa distribution, mo, uh, distribution moment distribution, we assume that it's, uh, it's a span has to be fixed and moment. So, separate natin ito. Fixed end siya. Fixed end din dito. Ganun. Okay? Dito fixed din pagka i-consider itong span na to. So, assume natin all joints as fixed. Tapos yung left moment, positive, yung right naman is negative. So, ang pinaka-importante dito is matanda natin yung mga yung formula ng mga fixed end moments. For example, pagka concentrated load na P nasa gitna o nasa midspan, ito madali lang tandaan kasi yung fixed end moment dito PL over 8, ito PL over 8. Parehas lang. Ngayon, kung at a certain distance of A and B respectively from left and right, 
Pagka dito, PAB squared L squared, madali siyang matandaan kasi ang P at saka yung A na malapit dito hindi squared. Ang squared yung B at saka yung L. Pagka dito naman, yung malapit, ano sa right? Yung malapit hindi squared. Ito mga mga rare na mga load lang to na dumadaan sa uniform load. Pero in case na uh, lumabas siya sa continuous uh, beam, at least alam natin yung formula. M over 4, ano? M over 4. Pagka nasa mid, mid span yung moment. Madali lang pagka nasa mid span. Pero pagka hindi nasa mid span, you have to remember this formula. And much more kung mga uniform load, WL squared over 12 lang siya, ano? Which is kadalasan ito lumalabas. At saka ito. WL squared over 20, mas maliit yung value ng moment. Ah, mas malaking value ng end moment pagka andito yung W. Mas maliit ang value ng moment pagka zero siya, of course. No? Logically, mas maliit talaga dito. Kaya dito, divide 30. Ito to, ang denominator is 20. Ibig sabihin, mas malaki ang value dito. So, ang tatandaan lang dito sa triangular load is uh, the denominator na 20 and 30. Ibig sabihin, pag andito yung uh, W, kasi varying load siya from a certain W to zero. Ngayon, kung nagkabaliktad, madali siyang matandaan. WL ano squared over kasi nga may load dito na W magiging 20 dito dito naman WL squared to 30 ano so that, yun lang ang uh, tip na dapat tandaan niyo sa one sa formula so alam ba ito we have to tipo ko na ako dito okay so we have to analyze this uh, beam. You have here a load of 40 kN. And then, actually, kung lang naman to prop beam, ano? but you can consider moment distribution. Pero na-analyze natin dati ganito, we can do it by three moment equation. Magkakaroon lang dito sa may A, extend lang, magiging imaginary yung beam. O pwede rin, moment area method. Okay? But we are like uh, to show first how we are going to uh, use moment distribution in this case. So ito, uh, very obvious, ano? Na ang k niya dito is 1 kasi isang span lang, ano? So ang distribution factor, yung sinabi ko na kanina, di, kanina no? Pagka, huh? Pagka fixed, 0. Pagka roller, 1. Okay? So dito, ano, ano? K1, pero dito, Ang DF dito, may DF na. Na equals to 0. Dito naman, DF or distribution factor is equal to 1. Okay? So, fixed in moment. PL over 8. Dito, halos pareha siya, no? MABF, MAB fixed, at saka MBA. Uh, Ibig sabihin, from A to B. Ha? Dito siya, no? Na moment. Dito naman, BA, F kasi fixed end. Pwede rin, MAB lang. Pareha siya. PL over 8 para sa concentrated load. Ito yan. Magkita. Okay. Ito. PL over 8. WL squared over 12 pagka uniform load. So, we have this consideration. Yung assumption natin na pagka sa left, ang assumption natin is positive. Sa right is negative. Yeah, ito na yung pinakita kong formula. Okay. Itong ano, ito, ito. Ito na formula sa so fixed moment na talaga no. Pero now we are going to use here using the moment distribution. Ito ano. Na ito ini sa isa ito ini sa isa. Ini sa isa out. Pero ito na yung 133.33. Positive pagka, ito. Sabi ko kanina, positive yung assumption natin pagka sa left. Negative pagka sa right. Ito, madali lang yung moment distribution kasi nga, uh, kwan lang siya. One span lang. Okay. Ito yung uh, distribution factor natin. Ano? Distribution factor. Ito, zero. Ibig sabihin, madaling gamitin ang moment distribution pagka 
uh, tinatanong tayo if you are going to if you are asked uh, to uh, to use it in a uh, prop beam zero dito dito one ano one dito now we have this positive sa right na, sa left na tinat, sinasabi ko and negative sa right so when you distribute meaning you just multiply that distribution factor distribution factor na zero, multiply mo sa 133.33, syempre maging zero. Tapos ito naman, multiply mo dito, magiging, di simpa rin, 133. Pero you are going to change na yung sign. Ano? You are going to change the sign. And to check that, pagka in mo siya, negative 133, at saka positive 133, maging zero siya. Okay? Maging zero. Ngayon, after the first distribution, Okay, first distribution. Magki-carry over ka ng moment. Tawag nito carry over. Pero one half lang ang i-carry over mo dito. You will carry over one half of this moment. So, 133 plus 33. Lalagyan mo dito. Just uh, 66 point something like that. Ito naman, zero pa rin. Ngayon, pagka sinam up mo na siya mula dito, no? Pababa. Pag sinam up mo na, ito na yung 200 na moment actually dito. Ganun yan. Hmm? Ito naman, zero. Zero talaga kasi nga roller naman siya. Pagka roller, moment is zero. Ano? Pagka roller, moment is zero. Ito, masasolve nito. Uh, Mag-check nyo pagka nag-compute kayo ng uh, area moment. No? Area moment method or uh, three moment equation. Okay? So, let's continue. Halimbawa ito. Ito, mas uh, ma-appreciate nito di, nyo dito. Ma-appreciate niyo dito yung moment uh, distribution method. So, meron tayo dito ang, again, we have here a continuous beam. Okay, we have here a 4 meter span. This load is 1 meter from A. Tapos 3 meters naman dito. Then you have your 5 kilonewton meter ano, with a span of uh, 6 meters. Now, how we are going to compute for K? K, A, B. Anong K dito? Ano? Yung sasabi ko na, kunin nyo lang LCM. LCM, ano? ito na, 4 and 6 is 12. Let's common multiple ng 4 and 6. Basic sa mathematics, ano? 4 times 2, 4, 8, 12. 6, 12, 12, 12, and 18. So, ang least common multiple niya, na common sa kanila is 12. Okay? Parang review lang. 4, 8, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12,
Okay. Ito yan. Now, dito naman sa kabila, on this side, you have BF, BC. So, ito pala, DF, BA ito. No? BA, BA. Ano? Okay. Now, this one, DF, mula dito, going here, going to C. So, you have DF, BC is equal to, ito naman ang Kenya, 2, ano, over yung sum ng K, which is 5. So, you have 2 over 5. 2 over 5 dito at saka dito, 1. Okay? So, ano yung 1? Fixed end moment na. Yeah? What is the formula of the fixed end moment here? Pagka ganito, ano, na ito yung pinaka A, ito yung pinaka B, ito naman yung P, ano? ito yung P. So, ang formula niya is, fix yung moment dito, M or A, B uh, is equal to P, A, B squared over L squared. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, if you have your P, you are computing the moment here, A is not squared. Yung the rest is squared. So, you have your P is 20 kilonewton. A is 1. B is 3 squared. L is 4. So, you will have MAB is equal to 11.25. Anong unit? Kilonewton ito. Ha? Kilonewton at saka meter. So this one is kilonewton meter. Now, how about M B from here B to A. Okay. In B to A, you have P okay, 20. Ano? Then you have pag uh, dito ang kinocompute dito na side so, ang B na ang hindi uh, squared. So, it's you have 3. And then, you have 1 squared over, ganun pa rin, L squared. 4 squared. In other words, you have this one equal to 3.75. Pero, yung assumption nga natin kanina, na dapat negative dito sa right, positive dito sa left. Ngayon, we are going to write it, it here. Ano? Dito is 11.25. 11.25. This is a positive kasi sa left. Tapos dito naman, negative 3.75. Okay. Oh, dapat dito ko na pala yung sulat sa kuwan. So, let's go. Okay. Okay. Ito pala. Negative 3.75. Okay. How about this one? Ito wala akong problema dito sa uniform load because uh, either it's left or right, the formula is uh, still the same. The formula WL squared Ito, ano? WL squared over 12. Sa left and right yan. Dito ko na lang sulit. WL squared over 12. Th th that is just equal to... Okay. W is uh, 5. L is 6. Okay. Squared over 12. Is equal to 15. Huh? 15. Kilonewton meter. Now, as I said earlier, dito sa left, ilalagay positive. Ito naman sa right, negative. 15. Okay? So, after we have this one, then, ano na, first distribution. Okay? First distribution tayo. Eleven point twenty five. Ito eleven point twenty five times zero. Huh? Ito. 
11.25 times 0, magiging 0. Okay? Ito naman, 3.75 and 15. Dalawa ito, pero i-distribute mo doon. So, kung may calculator kayo, you can try it. Hmm? 3.75 is negative. Okay? So, 15 minus 3.75 equals to 11.25 times 3 equals divide 5 is 6.75 okay so 6.75 ang value nito ne is positive ano 15 minus 3.75 is positive kaya ang sagot dito dapat i-change niyo no negative that's the rule negative 6.75 ito namang isa 15 and negative 3.75 ganun pa din positive pero times to divide 5 Magiging, mas malit siya. No? Negative 4.5. And we can check it if this is correct. Kasi pag uh, mo, inad mo, negative, uh, negative 6.75 and negative 4.5 is 11.25. Ganon din dito. 15 minus 3.75 is 11.25. But they are in opposite sign. Ano? That's uh, something that you would like to that's something that you have to check, you know? Something that you have to check, that it should be, it should be the same. Ito naman, negative 15. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yes. Balikan nga natin, sir, ang ano, tri, paano na kuha yung minus 3.75? Ito. Ito, uh, kwanto, yung, ito to. Ano? Itong formula. Sa kwanto, sa concentrated load. Ah, okay, okay. Ito yung formula, no? Uh, para ma... Ito, ano? PA base code. Pagka dito, side, itong side, itong formula natin. Tapos, pakita ko ulit. Hindi ko na kasi nilagay dito. Ang formula dito, P, ano? Uh, A is squared, B over L is squared. Ito pagka concentrated load. Concentrated load. Dito yung side, ano na, ito yung fixed end na kinocompute natin, Yung B is not squared. Yung squared itong kabila. Kaya P is squared, B L is squared. Okay. Okay na, no? Continue natin. Okay, sir. Malamat. Maraming salamat. Yung okay. negative, negative 6.75? Itong negative 6.75, pagka yung negative 3.75 plus 15 is positive 11.25. Ano? 11.25 ito. Okay. Sulat ko dito. 11.25 Ito, 11.25 times 3 divide 5 will give us 6.75. Pero, positive dito ang sagot dito. Ano? Positive ito eh. Dapat, opposite dito yung sign. Maging negative. Ganon din yung 4.5. 11.25, ano? 11.25 times, oh, times 2 divide 5 will give us 4.5. Positive pero gagawin natin negative. Okay? Maraming salamat po. Okay, okay. Welcome. Ito naman, negative 15 multiply sa 1 is negative 15. Yung sabi ko nga, i-change lang natin yung sign from negative. That will become positive 15. No? So ito, positive 15 na. Okay? So, after this one, we will have to carry over. Ano? Carry over na natin. Ilalagay natin dito yung kalahati lang ng 6.75. One half. So this one, the first carry over natin. This one is negative 3.375. That is one half of 6.75. Ito naman, ah, wala problema. Zero na. Ito naman, papunta dito, will give us 7.5. Okay. Itong isa naman na negative 4.5 papunta dito will give us negative 2.25. Okay. So itong carry over, carry over, uh, carry over moment to. Ano? Carry over moment to. So moment siya na we are going to distribute. Kaya magkakaroon tayo dito ng Second distribution. Okay? Second distribution. Initially, advisable na yung number of distribution natin is 
from uh, fourth to fifth distribution. Yung kanina, hanggang first dis distribution lang kasi nag-zero na. Pag sinam up natin, nag-zero na. Nag-zero na yung... Uh, uh, zero, zero na agad, ano? So, isakto na yung kuan. O ng distribution lang. Ito, distribute natin. 3.375 times 0, 0 din. Ito, 0 plus 7.5 is positive 7.5. Okay? Pag minultiply natin ang 7.5 times 3, divide 5, magiging 4.5. But since this one is positive, dapat negative ito. Ito naman, okay, 7.5 times 2 divide 5 is 3. Ano? Pero lalagay din natin negative 3. Yung sasabi ko kanina, it's easy to check because you have negative 3 and negative 4.5 is negative 7.5. The same numerically dito sa 7.5, opposite sign lang. Okay? O ito naman. 2.25. Okay? 2.25 times 1, still 2.25, pero ilalagay na natin is positive na. Ano? Para opposite. So again, after this one, carry over li tayo. Hmm? Carry over. So, you have 4.5. Carry over mo dito. Magiging negative 2.25. Ito naman. Carry over mo dito. Magiging 0. Okay? Itong 2.25, carry over dito. Magiging 1.125. Ito naman, negative 3, magiging negative 1.5. Okay? So, nakarry over nyo, third distribution na naman tayo. Ibig sabihin, we're going to multiply this moment, yung, carry, yung half na, na nakarry over, times 0, that becomes 0 again. Okay. And then this one, 1.125 okay, times 3. Divide, ito yung distribution factor. Kaya minimultiply siya da, lagi dito para ma-distribute ma yung moment. Okay. You have again, 1.125, positive siya. So ang sagot dito dapat minus. 1.125 times 3 divide, divide 5 is 0.675. Again, 1.125, maging negative siya, times 2, divide 5, is 0.45. Negative pa rin. Pag in mo siya, it's 1.125, but in opposite sign. Okay? This one, 1.5, madali lang kasi change mo lang yung sign. Then, again, carry over. Actually, pwede na nga ito, pero mas uh, maganda kung umabot ng fourth di uh, distribution para mas uh, uh, maging accurate yung sagot natin. Malapit sa katotohanan talaga siya. Okay. Uh, distribute. One half of 0.675 is... Sir, yes. Excuse me po. Okay. Yung isang 1.5 po na... Plus ah, ito ito. Plus, plus, to, plus. To. Okay. Oh. Very good. Nakita ko din. Di ko natuloy yung pag plus. Okay. 0.675, one half is negative. Ano? Negative 0.375. Ito naman, zero. Ano? Ganun pa din. Ano? Ito, 1.5. Ah, madali. 0.75. Ito, negative 0.225. Okay? So, last distribution na lang tayo. Ang natin yung space. Okay na yung fourth distribution. Okay? Fourth distribution. Ito, multiply mo dun sa zero, maging zero ito. Ano ito? 0.75. Okay? 0.75. Times 3, divide uh, 5. I'm sorry. 
45 pero gagawin natin negative. Ito magiging 0.3. Negative pa rin para equal doon sa but in opposite sign. 0.3 and 0.45 is 0.75. Negative lang siya. Ito naman, uh, 0.225. Negative magiging positive. Ano? 0.225. Okay. Now we can sum up here. We sum up here. This becomes now the moment. Ano? Sum up natin dito. So dito, moment at A. Calculator. So you have 11 point, uh, 25, 11. Minus 3.375. Minus 2.25. Minus 0.3375. Is equal to uh, 5.2875. Positive. Ito naman. Uh, you have negative 3.75. And then you have negative 6.75. Negative 4.5. Negative 0.675. Negative 0.45. It's negative 16.125. Dito, negative 16.125. Sa kabila, dapat 16 din siya. Okay. Uh, you have 15. 15. Minus 4.5. Plus 7.5. Minus 3. Plus 1.125. Minus 0. 0.45. Plus 0. 0.75. Minus 0. 0.3. Okay? So, 16.125 din. Pagka-equal siya, ibig sabihin, tama yung moment distribution natin. Ang moment dito sa B is 16.125. Okay. Dito naman, obviously, this one, 15 minus, negative 15 and 15, 0, 0, 0, ano? So, 0. Kasi nga, moment, moment at the free, at the joint, at the uh, support, at uh, the, the free end, you know, ang moment dito is 0 talaga. We expect already that the moment here is zero. Ang moment naman dito is negative talaga pag ganyan. Ano? So, uh, pagka mayroon na tayong ganito, papakita na natin ang moment is negative 5.288. Wait. Okay. So, ah, uh, nakumpleto natin ang summation moment. Okay? So, ang moment A dito, ano? Moment A is equal to, i-change lang natin tong sign, maging negative 5.288. Expected 'yan na negative kasi moment talaga dito sa fixed is pag ganun, ano? Negative talaga siya. Ito negative din to. Moment at B is equal to Negative 16, okay, 0.125, okay? And then, moment here, zero. Now, if you are going to ask, tanungin ka, no, anong reaction dito? Reaction A. Okay, ano namang reaction dito? Reaction B. Anong reaction dito? Reaction C. Okay, pwede naman, ano, ikat mo na itong section, Okay. Pag mag-cut ka dito ng section, may RB and RC ka. Pwede ba ma-solve? Ma okay. Cut mo yung section dito. Okay. 
This is C. This is B. Ito yung moment. Pag ganun. 16.125. Kasi kung positive, naalala nyo, pag ganun, consideration natin, positive yun. Ano? Sa negative siya, ganun. 16.125. Meron ditong 5 kilonewton meter. Ito, R, C. Ito naman, R, A. Okay. So, how are you going to compete for R, C? Itong distance is 6. Pagka take moment ka dito ng B, ano, is equal to 0. So, ganun na lang. Para mas madali. You have your moment at B na 16 in this direction. Ano? Pag ganun. Ito naman. And ito yung resultant niya. Papunta dito. So, we do first with this clockwise. Ano yan? 5. 5 times 6 times 3. Yung 5 yung kalin newton per meter. Yung 6 na 6 meter. 5 times 6 becomes... This one is already 30 kN. Ito yung magiging resultant load. Pag minultiply mo pa siya ng 3, that becomes moment. Okay. Then you have here equals to 16. Ano? Counterclockwise direction is 16.125. Okay. What else? RC plus RC times 6. Meron pa bang iba? RA, hindi mo kasi dito man tayo nag-take moment. We, take, we talk moment at B. Ano? So itong RA, RA, hindi na kasama sa pag-compute. So RC here is given to be, to be computed. Ano? So 5 times 6 is 30 times 3 is 90 minus 16.125. Okay. Divide 6. So 12.31 ang RC. Kung makumpit mo yung RC, makumpit mo yung RA kasi RA plus ganun na lang, mas madali. RC is equal to yung total load na 30 kN. RC could be computed. Pwede din mag-tick moment tayo dito. Ano? Ganun pa rin naman ang, ang sagot. So RC is equal to 30 minus 12.31. I expected na mas malaki talaga siya. Uh, 17.69 kN. How about uh, RC ba to? RB pala to, sorry. RB ano? RB to. RB, RB na yung kinocompute natin. Yung gitna, okay? RB. How about RA? Uh, madali na rin yan kasi... Pwede na natin gawing RA plus RB plus RC is equal to the total vertical load going down. No? Meron dito 20, yung concentrated load na ito. No? Tapos ito, yung 5 times 6 na 30. Ano? 30. So, RA could be computed. Kasi nga, meron na tayong RB, meron na rin tayong RC. RB natin is 17. RC natin is 12.31, 12 all in kilonewton. No? So therefore, you have 50 minus 12.31 minus 17.69 is equal to 20. 20 nga. Kilonewton. Okay? So, ganun lang, ano? Pag-compute ng... Pero sa board exam, kung magtatanong nito, hindi na ito magkotanong ng reactions. Baka moment lang, tapos kung may mga distribution factor, uh, moment A, moment B, moment C. Ano? Ganun lang. What is moment A, what is moment B, what is moment C. Hindi na yung mga reaction sa haba po na masyari yung, yung tanong. Okay? Any question so far sa moment distribution? Okay lang sa moment distribution so we can move on. Okay. Thank you. So influence uh, lines na tayo, ano? So sa influence lines, uh, nagko-consider lang tayo ng unit uh, load, ano? So 
Ay, kung consider lang natin dito, dapat na diretso na tayo, no? Para mas madali maintindihan. Ay, consider lang natin kung saan ang location ng maximum reaction na gusto natin na uh, makita. So here, for example, okay, compute the ordinate of the influence line at 0.16 meter from B. Ano? Tinatanong mula, di mula dito sa B, 16 meter. So malamang nandito. Ano daw ang ordinate ng influence line uh, for maximum reaction at B? So ang maximum reaction dito sa B. Ano? Ibig sabihin dapat andito yung 1. Ano? Andito dapat yung 1. Kasi unity yung pinaka-maximum dito. Sa so, uh, certain, certain uh, reaction or moment. Basta kung saan pinapakit, tinatanong yung maximum na reaction. Compute the ordinate. Number 2 is to compute the ordinate of the influence line at 0.16 from B for maximum shear at C. Dito naman, ang maximum shear is sa C. So, ibig sabihin, dito naman ang 1. No? Okay? It's either na malamang dito yan. No? Kasi ang pag-compute ng ordinate dito is 10 over the span. Okay. Dito naman, compute the ordinate of the influence line at 0.16 from dito naman, maximum moment at C. Yung B, maximum shear maximum shear at C, yung letter C, maximum moment at C. Moment dito. Ano? So, pag compute ng ordinate, uh, uh, pag uh, draw ng influence line, pag compute ng ordinate, halimbawa ito, mula dito, you just have to consider this one, this span. Halimbawa, para sa dito, you have to consider this span, halimbawa ito, 10, para sa dito, no? 10, tapos, divide by, hindi pala span, ano? From that point, mula sa point nito, galing dito. Ano? From this point to this point. Pero, i-divide mo sa total or sa span. Ang span nito is this one. Ano? From here up to here. Ito yung span. So, 20. 10 plus 10 is 20. So, it, this becomes 1 half. Ibig sabihin, pagka maximum na kung dito ang gusto mo, andito yung 1 half. Ano? Pag dito yung location. Dito sa kabila, ganun din. 10 over 20 din, 1 half. I'll show you. So, bakit naging 1 siya? Ano? Maximum reaction at B. Pagka ma maximum reaction at B, andyan yung 1. Paano din naging 1 siya? Ito lang naman. Oh. Ito, 10 over 10 din. Kasi andyan yung location. Ano? 10 over 10. Pero actually, hindi mo na kailangan isolve. Sol Pagka sinasabi na maximum reaction, andyan na automatically yung value na 1. So, kung 1 dito, sa kabila, dapat 0. Now, if you are going to project that line, if you are going to extend this line, going here, maging 1.25 yan. Rasyo yung proportion lang naman, ano? Ito, 1, ano? 1 is 2, this triangle. Okay? This triangle is similar to this big triangle. So this one, you have 1 over 20. And then, this one, sabi natin y, y, is to 25. Okay? So obviously, the value of y is 1.25. Okay? So kung ito, ganun din. Ganun din, ano? Pag-compute. Now, the question here is to compute the ordinate, ordinate of the influence line at a point 16 meters. So coming from the reaction B. Ano? From here, 16 daw. So dapat nandito siya. Ano? So, kung 16 galing doon, dito is 4. And in the same way that we have computed the other ordinates, ganun din ang pag-compute dito. Ano? Ito na yan. So, ito, yung sinasabi ko na nandito. So, this one is similar to this big triangle. Kaya, y is to 4. Ito yan. And then, 1 is to 20. Pwede rin naman 1.25 is to 25. Pero rin na kailangan. So the answer is Y, 1 fifth. Okay? Next, the ordinate of the influence line at a point 16 meters from B for maximum shear at C. Ngayon ang maximum shear na dito sa C. Okay, dito sa midspan. Yung C kasi midspan. So ito, ganun lang ano? 10 over 
20. Yung 20, itong dalawa. Yung sinabi ko na kanina na 0.5 talaga. If this is 0.5, kasi ang maximum sa kabila, ang maximum itong at C, 0.5 din ito. Para yung total niya, 0.5. Ang 0.5 is 1. Okay? So if this is 0.5, Kasi nga, this one is 10, this is 10, they are symmetrical. It is, it is expected that this is also 10, uh, 0. 0.5. But this positive, this one is negative. This is ne negative 0. 0.5. Ito 5 lang naman, ano? So 10. So parang kalahati lang ng 0. 0.5. And you can prove it by a ratio proportion. Now, we are again asked to compute this y. Ano yung distance ng y? This y coming from here is equal to ito, 16 meters. If you have your 16, 4 dito, so you have 0.5 is to 10, and then y is to 4. Ito yan, huh? y is to 4, 0.5 is to 10, so we can compute y as 1 over 5. Okay? So how about this one? Ordinate of the influence line at a 0.16 met meter from the maximum moment at C. Pagka maximum moment naman kasi iba ng formula, no? Imamultiply mo lang itong dalawa, Ano is pan? Oh, ito, ito, ano? 10 times 10. Yan na yan, ano? Ito na yan, actually. Tapos, i-divide mo ng span na 20. Ganon pagka-moment. Ano? Ganon pagka-moment. Pero pagka-share, kung saan lang, ano? Ito yung side lang, divide by the span. Pagka-share. Pero pagka-moment, you have to multiply this side and then this side and divide it by total span. So you have this 5. Now the question is still the same to locate the ordinate at 16 meter coming from point B. So if this is 16, remaining is 4. And we can, we can have again this ratio of proportion. Ito, 5 to is to 10. And then ito naman na malit na triangle. Kunin ko yan. Ito yung Y. Ito yung 4. Ito naman yung uh, 10. At saka ito naman yung height na 5. Okay. So this small triangle is similar to that big triangle. 5 is to 10. 10 pala ito. 10. 5 is to 10. And then y is to 4. So we can compute y is equal to 2. So ganun lang kasimple. Ano? Mga board exam na questions na lumalabas dito sa Influence lines, ganito lang naman. Okay, how about this one? Again. Uh, may tanong? Galang? Uh, sir, okay. Tuloy lang. Okay, good. So this is a simply supported beam. 10 meters in length. Has an overhang, overhang of 2 meters at the left support. If a highway uniform load is 9.35 kilonewton meter and a concentrated load is 116 kilonewton kilo passes through the beam, okay, compute the following based on the influence line for maximum shear at mid span. So maximum shear at mid span. So first, determine the length of the beam where the uniform load could produce maximum moment positive shear. So dapat ang produce niya na moment, okay, and the maximum is could produce, produce maximum positive shear, no? maximum positive shear at mid span. So, hinahanap dito is length. Dito naman, length pa din, pero ang uniform load na more produce, produce maximum negative shear. Hmm? Sa mid span din. Pwede sila sa mid span. Parang yung, kanding, ibig sabihin nandyan yung unit load na 1.0 pagka maximum. Then you have, if the concentrated load will be placed at the end of the overhang, compute the maximum shear at the mid-span. Okay? So, ganito lang yan. Ano? Lahat maximum, uh, yung maximum at the mid-span. Maximum positive at the mid-span. Ito, madali compute Dito, ano? It's a 0.5. Actually, this is 5 over 10. Okay? Kasi ito yung 5. Ang 10, itong 5 plus 5. Ano? So, if this is 5 over 10 or 1 half, ganun din dito sa kabila, 1 half. Now, the load is for maximum positive shear at the mid-span. Makita mo dito, uh, ito yung mga positive ordinates. No? 
positive ordinates ng influence line. Ito negative to eh. Ito positive. So, andyan yung location ng uniform load na makakapag-produce. Ano? Alin beam where uniform load could produce maximum positive shear. Ito pag may multiply mo ito, ano, ito may multiply mo sa ordinate at tapos ito may multiply mo divide by 2. Multiply mo sa distance, divide by 2. Uh, makakapag-produce ka ng uh, maximum positive shear. Yan ang purpose ng ordinate. Ano? There are factors as well. Ordinate ng influence line. So itong distance na to, 2 and 5, ito yung tinatanong. That is the length of the beam where the uniform load could produce maximum positive moment at, this, at, this, at the mid span. So the answer is 7 meters. Pagka negative naman, eh, dyan mo lang ilalagay yung uniform load mo. Ganun pa rin, doon pa rin yung kung kasi may ordinate naman dito na negative. Dyan pa rin. Pero ang length na, na lang niya is 5 meter. Okay? Kasi ito yan yung 5 meter. Now the other question, if the concentrated load okay, will be placed at the end of the overhang, yung sinasabi ko, yung concentrated load na yun, e multiply mo lang sa ordinate, will give you the shear. Maximum shear siya sa mid-span. Bakit? Sasabihin nyo. You might be asking, the location of the, this load is already here. Ano? Tapos mid-span pa rin yung maximum na makikreate. Kasi nga, andito yung unit load natin. Ano? Unit load sa mid-span. Kung hindi maximum sa mid-span, yung unit load sana natin, baka ilagay natin sa dulo. Ano? Doon sa dulo. Ano? If this is B, yan doon sa dulo. Maximum moment at that end. Or dito. Sabihin natin dito. Since na dito, ang, the question is asking us to compute for the maximum shear at the mid-span by which this concentrated load is located here in the in this uh, the, uh, the overhang ano at this overhang kasi nga ito is uh, parang moving load din siya no moving load din siya pero this one using the ordinates we have an activity this is, this is just a simple activity ano try niyo lang practice lang may nagsagot na nga dati nito pero uh, mara isa lang nagsagot so try niyo lang i kuan nasa Nasa ko naman siya, nasa classroom. Oh, 5 to 10 minutes. 5 to 10 minutes, tapos na to. Okay. May isang nagkuhan lang. Last, last uh, week to na, hindi natin nagkuhan. So my choice is naman, okay? Try to answer this one. I'll give you 5 to 10 minutes. Check niyo lang sa kwan sa classroom. Naka-computer na mga kayo siguro, ano? Naka-computer kayo? Opo. Ah, sige, okay. Salamat. Okay, continue natin. Ano? So this is a beam. It's just a simple span of 6 meters. A, a unit load moves along the beam coming from the left end at the beat of the beam. And uh, using the influence diagram, let us compute the following. Ordin the ordinate of the influence diagram at 
point four meter from from left end of the beam for maximum reaction at the left end. Then the ordinate of the influence diagram at point four meter from the left end of the beam for maximum shear at two meter from the left end of the beam. And then the ordinate of the influence diagram at a point four meter from the left end of the beam for the maximum moment of a two meter from the left end of the beam. So, madali lang naman siya, no? So, to ordinate of the influence diagram at four meters from the left end of the beam for the maximum reaction at A. So, ito yung maximum reaction. Ibig sabihin, nandito yung 1. Kukumpitin lang natin yung 4 meters, yung ordinate from 4 meters uh, from A. So, dali lang, ano? Y, uh, 1 over 6, and then Y over 2. Pangalawa, ordinate again, 4 meters from uh, point A, from the left, left end of the beam, a maximum shear at 2 meters from the left end of the beam. You know, 2 meters... Uh, this is 2 meters from this left end. So dito, ang total span niya is 6. Ano? Total span is 6. Dito, this is 4, and 4 over 6 becomes 2 third. Dito naman is 2 over 6, kaya 1 third. Negative lang. Uh, so you have 2 third and then negative 1 third. Why? Can I compute? Ano? 2 third is to 4, and then y is to 2. So, now, number 3 is to compute the influence diagram at 4 meters from the A. Ganun pa rin, pero this time, this is uh, the location of that will produce mo uh, uh, that will produce a maximum moment at 2 meters from A. So, ito is just 2, ano? 2 times 4 all over the span uh, 6. Okay, so, so 3, okay, so it's 4 third. 4 third, ang value. So, if you have here, ito na, no? Y, ito no? Y is to 2 meters, and then 4 third, or 4 third, is to 4. So, palagay ko nakuha niyo lahat. Okay? So, ito. Influence uh, lines for trusses. Influence lines for trusses tayo. So, you have the bridge truss shown on the figure. Ito. This carries a concentrated load of 20 kN at saka uniform load na 2 kN meter. The question is to compute uh which will give the nearest value of maximum ordinate of the influence diagram for member BG. So ito, ano? Ang dapat makita natin na ordinate ng member BG. Ibig sabihin, dito mo ilalagay yung 1 or dito. Sa dalawa na yan para makompute mo yung B at saka ordinate ng, ordinate ng B at saka G. Pagka dito nilagay mo yung... 1 sa B, ordinate ng B ang makukompute. Pagka sa C naman, ordinate ng G. Okay. Which of the following gives first, maximum ordinate influence like from BG. Ito naman, which of the following gives the nearest value of the maximum tensile? Okay. Force of the member. Ito naman, maximum compressive force of the member BG. Okay, so let's compute. So, so if this one will move, ano? Kapag kumpit uh, tayo ng value ng R2. So, taking moment at here, R2 papunta doon, at saka ito naman papunta dito. Here, ang value is X. That's why you have 24 times R2. 24 yung distance. And then 1, kasi nga 1 yung load times X. May, meron tayong equation for our R2, which is X over 24. Ibig sabihin, pag nilagay natin ito dito, the distance is 1, kaya magiging, ano, when x is equal to 1, magiging 1 over 24. Okay? That's exactly what we're trying to uh, show in this sol solution. Uh -huh. So, ito, nilagay mo dito, 6 ito eh. 
6 pala ito. When x is equal to 6, 1 over 4. 6 pala ito dito. Ano? 6, 12, 18, 24, tama. 6, 1 over 4. Okay? So, yung R2 mo is 1 over 4 pagkaan dyan yan siya. Ano? Pagkaan dito. Dito, nilagay natin yung 1. If you put it here, the 1 here, ibig sabihin, ang ordinate na mga compute natin dito is uh, ito, na-compute natin. That is for BG. Ano? So, how, how, did, how did you get this uh, 0.354? Nagkat tayo ng section dito. Ano? We cut section here and we, then we consider the right side. When you cut section and consider the right side, sa taas, obviously, we expect a compression uh, member. Ano? Pagka sa, that is yung top chord, at saka sa bottom chord, negative yan. Or compression. Uh, no, no, tension. Pagka sa taas, compression. Pagka sa baba, tension. So, magaganon yan eh. Ano, gaganon. Ito, gaganon. Kaya compression talaga dito. So, ito yung mga assumption natin. Ang BG, it's either compre compression tension, pagka ang BG ang value is negative, ibig sabihin, you just have to uh, reverse the direction of your assumption. So, ito. Ano? We have this one. We sum up, pag sinum up mo nito ang forces vertical, dalawang force lang dito ang mag-appear. Ito lang at saka BG. Okay? We sum up forces vertical equals to zero. Okay? All going up is positive. O pwede rin, uh, yung forces going up is equal to forces going down. Ano to? Bakit sin 45? Okay? Actually, cosine dapat yan. Kasi, eto ano, BG. Pag ano? Na, eto yung 45. BG. And this is point G. Pero regardless of sine or cosine, ma maring ang kinusider niya dito is ito. Ano? Kasi ito yung magiging vertical component. Uh, good thing here is pagka 45, pagka magkamali ka sine or cosine, walang problema kasi this naman ang answer. Pero, but if we are going to consider this side, this one should be cosine 45. Okay? Is equal to 1 fourth. Ito yung R2 na 1 fourth. 1 fourth siya pagka ang 1 is located at point B. Ano? So we can have this equation and therefore we can compute 0.354. 0.354, ibig sabihin, kasi positive siya, tension siya. Pagka negative, compression. Now, if we move dito sa kabila, or ilagay natin na sa gitna, pag kinilagay mo dito sa gitna, obviously, ang magsagot niyan is one half. Ano? Ilagay natin sa gitna. Okay? Because that is just equal to, if this is one, what is R1? R1, times 24 and then is equal to 1 12 million times 12 so therefore r1 is equal to 1 half so if this is 1 half this one is also 1 half huh? para maging 1 half plus 1 half will become 1 Now, from here, if you are going to compute BG, ano? paano pag-compute ng BG? Okay. Summation, summation of forces, okay. vertical again. Okay. Ano to? Ano? If this is uh, 45, okay. or ito, nilagay nyo dito, for, uh, the same, if kung 45 ito, sign pa rin dito. Itong sign. No? Sign pa rin ito. Yung nagsasabi ko, gandahan lang kasi 45. Okay. Sign pa rin ito. Sign 45 of BG is equal to 1 half. Kaya magkakaroon ka ng 0.707. Ang naka-assumption natin dito is compression. Ano? Compression kasi papunta dito sa yun ang direction. Ito ang assumption natin. Papunta dito sa uh, B. Itong isa, dati, kanina, no, ito ang assumption. Going away, away from G. 
pagka papunta pa rin dito no away from jib big sabihin tension pero dito it's going towards B kasi ang consider natin dito is dito sa left part. Okay? Consider natin sa left part para hindi na natin dito tayo nagkat ng section para hindi na natin to consider na 1. Pag consider natin madagdag sa mga forces na i-compute natin. Okay? So you have BG is equal to 0 0.707. Then we can plot na no. Pwede na natin may plot. Kasi ng compression negative siya. Ano? Sa baba siya. Pagka Nung kanina, positive, 3.354, kaya sa taas siya. Tension siya, kaya positive. This is tension, this is compression. Now, the question is, uh, so the question, which uh, compute the nearest value of the maximum ordinate of the influence diagram for member BG? Maximum ordinate, ano? So, sa dalawa, regardless of the sign, ito naman yung maximum ordinate. 0.707 to 0.354 lang. Okay. Next is, to compute the maximum tensile force, ano? Paano mag-compute ng maximum tensile force? Ito ang gamit na ng ordinate, ano? Meron naman siyang moment. Uh, but first, let us compute first this, this x. Ito madali lang naman makompute ng moment. Uh, uh, Resume proportion lang. 0.354 is to x. At saka ito naman, 0.707 is 2. Kung x ito, 6 ang total. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, this one is 6 minus x. Para lang makompute yung x. Na 2 pala. Ano? So, this is 2. This one is 4. Now, to compute for the tensile force, ganun lang. Ano? Yung positive ang sabi dito. Uh, gives the nearest value of the maximum tensile force of member BG. Kaya nga, ano, this one is positive. Ibig sabihin, this area ano, is for tension. Itong area naman is for compression. So, the tensile force of member BG, uniform load area of influence plus concentrated load times the maximum ordinate. 2, ano yung 2? Yung 2 kN per meter na tinatawag kanina, times 8, yung ano, para maging kilonewton siya. Pero di-divide mo siya ng 2. Divide mo siya ng 2. Tapos multiply mo sa ordinate. Pero pagka naka-kilonewton na siya, you just have to multiply it by the ordinate. And then therefore, you can come up with this uh, unknown value. Uh, the nearest value, the maximum tensile force. That, that's now, that is now the maximum tensile force for member BG. The other one is to compute for the maximum compressive force of member BG. Ito namang area nito sa baba. Compressive siya kasi nga no, negative siya. No? Compressive force of member BG. So may 2 kN tayo. Multiply mo ng uh, ano yung 16? Ito. 4 plus 6 plus 6. It's 16. Ano? This is 16. Okay. So 2 times 16 times 0.707 divide 2. Consider negative sign. Okay. Ganon din dito. 20 times 0.707 consider the negative sign. Okay. So, continue tayo. Siguro umpisan lang natin ito. Okay lang kayo? Wala? May nadagdag ba? Andito pala sa, sa, sa Robin. Good morning. Oh, good, good evening, sir. Okay. Umpisan lang natin ito. Na, Juan. Masyado mabilis tayo eh. So. Dapat before to sa Juan eh. Pero uh, ito na naging sequence ko. Para maintindihan natin yung uh, mga next na <clears throat> lalo sa steel design. So simple stress, ano? Actually, uh, alas, uh, madali na to sa inyo eh. So pag uh, isang member, meron dito P, tapos merong area, 
ano? Pag kinet mo section, mayroon siyang area. Let's say rectangle. Mayroon siyang area rectangle. It's a, that particular portion. Then we can get the stress. That is the normal stress or simple stress. Now, for example, ito. A composite bar consists of an aluminum section rigidly fastened between bronze section and steel section. So, along aluminum, it is fastened between steel and then bronze section. Axial loads are applied at the positions indicated. So, what, the question is to determine the stresses in each section. Anong stress dito? Anong stress dito? Anong stress dito? Okay. So, it would be better to start here if you got section and then consider this side. So, you have 4,000. So, meaning this, that would be the stress for B, PBR. Ito naman, pag kinat mo to, andyan naman yung mga load, kukopyan mo lang, ito naman yung stress ng aluminum. Dito naman sa kabila, para sa steel. It's the same as, ano, dito. It's the same as na parang ganyan. Ano? Is 7,000. And dito naman yung PST. Dapat equal siya. Okay, let's just check. 4,000. Going here is 9,000. is 5,000. Plus 2,000 is 7,000. Parehas talaga siya. Okay. Dapat equal talaga siya. And the same way here. Ito 4,000. Dapat ito 5,000. No? Going in this direction. Okay. Let's compute. Ito na. 4,000 PBR. Or the, the load for the bronze is 4,000. Ang aluminum naman is 5,000. And steel naman is 7,000. Ito na. Nakita natin. Now, compute for its uh, stresses. Ganun lang. You have 4,000 dito. Divide 1.2 square inch. And dito naman given. Meron tayo in terms of PSI. Tension. Itong isa naman. Uh, compression. Kasi papunta dito. Dito ang direction ng resultant nitong load na 9,000 sa 4,000. Ito namang aluminum. Uh, papunta na dito. Para maging equilibrium. And the same here with uh, steel. Ang resultant nito is going to the right. Resultant ng load dito. So, ang still dapat para mag equilibrium going. Uh, the force here is going to the opposite direction. Okay. How about yung sharing stress? Ano pa ba ng simple stress at sharing stress? Okay. Uh, simple stress. Ayan, no? No? Ito, simple stress. Andito yung area. Halimbawa, andito yung area. Pero ito at the sides. Ano? Pagka may resistance dito, sharing siya. Okay? Sharing, st sharing stress siya. Saan mo makita naman ganitong uh, reactive elements? Halimbawa sa pile. Ano? May mga share uh, skin uh, skin uh, shear forces dito. Ito na yung, yung normal na uh, force. So, this one is similar to here. You have here, as in the figure shown, mayroon tayong P dito. A hole, parang, parang puncher. Huh? There's a hole to be punched out. A plate having an ultimate sharing stress of 300 megapascal. So, take note, the sharing stress here is 300 megapascal. Now, if the compressive stress and the punch is limited to 400 megapascal. So, pag uh, na-apply mo itong force P, ang compressive ko dito is 400. Dito naman sa shear is 300. Now, determine the maximum thickness of uh, the plate, which a whole 100 millimeter in diameter can be punched. 100. Ano yung T? Pangalawa, if the plate is 100 millimeter thick, kabalik tara naman, I'm going to compute diameter. Okay? So, if the compressive stress in the punch is uh, 400, the diameter, that we are going to uh, compute the thickness with this given diameter. So, this is the area. Ito yung thickness. Ano yung area ng circumference? Pi dt. Kasi ganito lang yan, ano? 
Ito yung circumference. Anong sir, ito yung circumference pa ikot? It is just pi d or 2 pi r. Ito yung thickness. Kaya yung magiging area niya is pi dt. Okay? So, let's compute. You have this one. P uh, is equal to A over S. Or the normal stress is equal to P over A. Ano? Coming from here. Ang area is pi over 4d squared. Ito yan. Pi over 4d squared. Given naman yung diameter na 100 dapat dito yan sa taas. Tapos yung simple stress is 400. So therefore, we can compute here yung P. Ano? Makukompute natin dito yung P. Nakakailanganin natin sa pag-compute ng T. Because we have here, from sharing stress, you have this, ano, na, na compute ko. A is pi dt. Ano? Ito na yung formula. Na compute na na may diameter naman na 100. At saka pi at saka t yung tinatanong. And this one coming from the sharing stress is just equal to P over area. Ang area ng sharing stress dito, when this P is applied, ano? Applied dito. Dito yung sharing sa side. By which, ang formula niya is, ito na, pi dt, na compute na natin ito. Just substituting it here. Hmm? Substitute yung P, substitute yung AES, at saka yung sharing stress, makakompute natin yung thickness. Now, for the second question, we are asked to compute. Ano? Pabalik tara naman. If the thickness is given, what are we... What would be the diameter? Okay. So, ganun pa rin, ano? Ito, gamitin na, muna natin sharing stress. Sharing stress is given to be 300. This is again coming from, ito. P dito is unknown. No? Unknown muna. Okay. So, you have this 300 or 3,000 pi D. And then, from the compression, ano? so, from compression, ito, galing din dito, na formula. So, area is pi over 4 this, this squared. Dapat dito yan. And then, 400 is the compressive stress. So, we can have this one. Ito, uh, this squared. We substitute from here. P is 100 pi d squared. D squared. Ano? And then, it's also equal to 3000 pi d. So, therefore, we can compute here. D. Okay. Any question? Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. So, halimbawa ito. Ito naman. So, ito, makita natin. Uh, Siyempre, may angle dito. Ito, dahil sa 50 kN, pwede ito may component dito na could move this one. No? Pwede ito matanggal. Ano? This area, this one is simple stress. Pero dito, pag matanggal yan, that sharing. Okay? Dito, meron din dito simple stress pagka itong component. Okay? Meron din sharing dito pagka component dito. Depende lang sa pinapatanong. Here, the question is uh, to compute the dimension of B. Asan yung B? Ito. So, ibig sabihin, what causes this uh, B to fail? Sharing yan, ano? Ito dapat yung P na X. Component Horizontal, horizontal component para matanggal itong side which is has something to do with B. Yung pangalawa, letter B, determine the dimension C. Asan yung C? Ito, ano? Itong area na yan. And what is that one? It's being caused by Px pero simple stress na siya. Determine the dimension C so that the bearing does not exceed 7 MPa. Anong pagkakaiba ng bearing at saka simple stress? Formula nila isa. 
Only difference is that bearing stress or uh, bearing stress is stress caused by the contact of two bodies. Magandang example yung mga soil bearing stress kasi yung stress na caused by the weight of the footing in contact with the soil. Ganon din yung mga retaining wall. Ano sa retaining wall? Andito yung soil, may contact yung soil at saka yung structure. Kaya may bearing stress ya dito. Okay? So first question. From sharing, ma-compute natin yung B. Ano? But first we have to compute PX. 30 pala ito, 30 degrees. Okay? This component, ito na horizontal component dito na PX. Ayan, ayan, no? PX. Yung PX na to is just the horizontal component of that 50 kN. So 50 cosine Thirty degrees. Okay. Now, uh, from here, sharing stress, P X. Ito dapat. Sharing stress, okay, is equal to P, yung X na lang over area. Okay. So we have here. P times 1,000 para maging newton kasi kilo newton siya. No? Px, what is this? Area. Ano to? This one is B. Of course, may 150 dito. Papunta dito is 150. Ibig sabihin, ito yan yung area ano? na maaring pag matanggal yung taas. This is the area. Okay? So that is just B. Ito B then ito. No? B and then you have here 150. Kaya 150B. Okay. Point 0.9. That's 900 kilopascal. Convert natin sa megapascal. Point 0.9 megapascal. Bakit kinonvert na natin? Para ito newton, ito millimeter. So, we expect B to be in millimeter also. Para ito megapascal or 0.9 megapascal or newton millimeter squared. Okay? So, ang sakot dito is millimeter. Now, letter B. Determine the dimension C. Yung sasabi ko na sa bearing. Okay? So, ganun pa rin ang formula. Pero ang area niya, ito na yung area niya dito. Ano? Ito yung contact area na. And ito paangat yung kuwan. Ayan yung kuan. Contact niya. No? Ito yan. No? So this is again PX. Okay? So, you have here, ang pinaka PB niya dito or PX is 50 cos 30 degrees, 1,000 para Newton. 1 kN is 1,000 Newton. Area is, this is C, this is 150. In other words, you have 150 C. What is 7? Ito yung 7 megapascal. So we can have C is equal to 42. Any question?